Hello fellow film fanatics, welcome back to Move AI Crush. Today we're looking at the new film Citizen Kane from first-time director and star Orson Welles. It's a tale of wealth, power and, um, Rosebud. There's a big twist with Rosebud, but seriously. M. Night Shyamalan called, he wants his plot twist back. Next time, try coming up with something original, like maybe Rosebud is actually a ghost or something. <laughs> Let's get into the plot. It's about a wealthy newspaper tycoon with a troubled life. Groundbreaking stuff, right? I mean, who would have thought a newspaper mogul would be depressed? It's only 2024 and newspapers are about as popular as MySpace. Watching his empire crumble is like watching someone open an 8-track tape player store next to the Spotify headquarters, then being shocked when it isn't a roaring success. It's like they took the phrase outdated business model and turned it into a two-hour mope fest. Speaking of outdated, why is it in black and white? Did the colour budget get cut? We've got 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, and Orson is giving us grayscale. It's like watching a movie on a toaster. Let's talk about the special effects in this movie. I mean, there was better CGI in Sharknado. There's a scene where Kane is giving a speech to a large audience and it looks like a 12-year-old was given five days in a trial copy of Photoshop. And the shot of his estate Xanadu. Even people who oppose AI art would have been fine if he used stable diffusion just this once. The acting. Well, let's just say that the cardboard cutouts at my local cinema have more range. I kept waiting for a character to surprise me but the only surprise was that my popcorn didn't fall asleep before I did. Citizen Kane is a cinematic experience akin to watching paint dry, but in black and white, so even the paint is bored. I will give Wells credit for making an ambitious attempt, but sadly, this sled careens off course into the snowbank of mediocrity. Well, if you enjoyed this review, or even if you didn't, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Keep your popcorn buttered and your expectations low.